All right, full tilt, we're gonna give it a shot. wasn't even wide open. What the f <laughs> What the f is this bike, dude? Well, folks, here it is. The five Exodia cards of motorcycling. The one, the only, needs no introduction. Kawasaki Ninja H2. Now, before you guys get it twisted, this is not a giveaway motorcycle. It is not a loaner bike. I purchased this motorcycle. My own money bought this thing. And uh, yeah, I am very, very excited to give you guys my first impression ride on my new to me 2015 built Kawasaki Ninja H2. There is so much to cover with this machine. This video is probably going to be a good 35 minutes long. If you guys didn't check out our reveal video yesterday, be sure to watch that as I did a nice detailed deep dive on this bike's year, uh, all the modifications, what we're going to do with it, blah, blah, blah. But suffice it to say, this is my new personal motorcycle. I did want to shout out a special promotion we've got going on for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I'll tell you guys about that right now. Guys, the holiday season is upon us and I wanted to do something special for my sweet little squids to show you just how much you mean to me. We got a crazy promotion going on right now at shop.yamanube.co and it starts with this, the Honda Hornet. You may be familiar with this Honda Hornet as it was the original Yami New bike giveaway in 2019. We bought it back from the winner, we restored it, and now I'm giving it away again. That's right, for the first time ever, we're doing something special for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, but you only have five days to get entered to win this fantastic giveaway. I'm also gonna sweeten the pot and give you guys 10X entries for every dollar you spend over on shop.yaminube.co for your chosen sweepstakes. There's no special promotional code nothing you got to do. Simply shop over at shop.yaminube.co and you'll get automatically added for those 10x entries and entered for this giveaway. But it's Cyber Week, folks, and for this bike that started it all, I'm not stopping there. For the first time ever, we're doing second and third place prizes as well. So the first place winner will be getting this Honda Hornet delivered straight to their door, but second place is actually going to win a trip out here to Austin to ride with us in the hills. Choose whatever Yaminube bike from the fleet you want and we'll spend the whole day riding. Third place is going to win a special limited edition poster signed by yours truly. We're never printing it again and you're not going to want to miss it. It's a once in a lifetime Yami Noob event so historic we are calling it the Cyber Week Giveaway Extravaganza. It's a very short window to get entered to win on this giveaway so make sure you head over to shop.yaminoob.co and pick out something you like. You'll get 10x entries and automatically entered for this Honda Hornet giveaway. This bike belongs to the people and I would be remiss to keep it in my state it belongs with you guys. If ever there's a giveaway you did not want to miss out on, it is this one. You only have five days to enter to win. Head over to shop.yamini.co and don't delay. All right, guys, now that you've heard about all the cool stuff we got going on, this bike is just something else, dude. Uh, everybody knows about it by now. It's Kawasaki's supercharged motorcycle, but what they don't know is how it feels to ride. Um, this motorcycle, as I will show you guys here in today's video, is unlike anything you have ever experienced. Um, it is very different from the Turbo Hayabusa. In fact, we will have a full comparison video to the Turbo Hayabusa coming out tomorrow that you guys are not going to want to miss. But this bike is, is truly something special. Um, I have a lot I want to say about it. I've got a... looks like a Hornet that's popping out right there. Isn't that uh, so coincidental? A little yellow jacket popping out from the motorcycle. I say we jump aboard the machine and talk things through. I'll talk you through specs, I'll talk you through everything I know about it, talk you through how it feels to ride, some of the changes the owner's done to it, and uh, most importantly, we're gonna see how it feels when you get on the beans with it. Let's mount up, let's go take it for a spin, shall we? Uh, flip the key. It's got this dead man switch right here. This is actually uh, part and parcel for setting this bike up as a mile bike. Um, which is what this bike used to do before I bought it. The previous owner ran it at several mile events and it actually pulled 220 miles per hour in a standing mile, I believe it was, which is just, just unconscionable, isn't it? Let's go ahead and start it up, shall we? Wow, man. Yeah, 
You guys are gonna hear that supercharger a whole lot today. Um, that's uh, the name of the game with this bike. Let's go and take it for a rip, shall we? Now, one thing I wanna point out with this motorcycle that I am fixing immediately is, so it's a, it's a built motor, right? Fully built H2, pretty much. Um, the guy's never dynoed it, but he assured me that it probably makes somewhere in the vicinity of 320 horsepower. And I believe him. I believe that intensely. That is absolutely what I think this motorcycle is capable of. But um, because of all of that built motor energy, all of the accessories, the bigger fuel pump, those sort of things, the very first time I took this thing out for a ride, um, it actually died on me. If you run this motorcycle, as I learned from the builder, if you run this motorcycle with a traditional lithium ion battery, that's about 360 cold cranking amps, if you keep it idling or low in the revs for too long, it actually smokes the battery. So if you guys see me kind of trying to keep moving with this thing and keep the revs up, uh, that's not just because I'm riding like a dingus, it's because I need to, because I don't have the bigger battery that I'm waiting on still. I swapped in another battery on this thing and we're gonna hold off until we get that bigger battery. But let's just get a little bit of a taste. Jesus! <laughs> it piles on speed uh, very differently than any other bike I've ever ridden. Um, you don't even, I, I think it's because our brains can't really comprehend what the hell is going on. Oh, it's stumbling, it's stumbling, it's stumbling. Okay, 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 come on. Gotta keep those revs up. <laughs> it is a fully built bike, folks. We gotta deal with some weirdness. Come on, baby. You can't be low on gas, can you? <laughs> this first ride's going really great. Okay, I may or may not have bought another troublesome project motorcycle, but that's okay. That's besides the point. <laughs> it seems like the fuel pump's having a little bit of weirdness with it. <laughs> the last thing you want is an H2 to be bucking and weaving like that. That was not very fun. Um, all right, seems to be working okay now, so we'll continue our review. <laughs> Just another day in the life, guys. Just another day of the life. Um, all right, so where was I? Yeah, so it piles on speed unlike anything I've ever ridden before. It seems to be working okay now. Uh, this motorcycle really just buries on speed like nothing else that I've ever ridden. Um, you hear that supercharger wastegate actuating when you get on the boost a little bit. I'll see if I can do it towards this car just a teensy bit. So I hear that big sound right there. That's the air escaping inside of the supercharger as the pressure has actually built up inside of it, which is really cool. Um, that gives you such a unique riding experience. It lets you really hear how you're on the gas or off the gas with this motorcycle. It's actually really cool. As you'll see here, I pile it on a little bit. That was like 10% throttle. Just, just so you guys can hear that supercharger wastegate right there. It's such a cool sound. Um, yeah, but the way this thing makes its power, it's, it's so linear, right? It's so different than a supercharger, or excuse me, a turbocharger uh, that has to build its, its revs up like my Turbo Hayabusa, and it just punches you in the middle of the rev range. This motorcycle, super linear, super progressive, and from the saddle here, it kind of, it really just feels like a leader bike, if I'm gonna be totally honest. But with a really snatchy throttle, I have to say, the throttle response on this thing is the most Kawasaki throttle I've ever felt in that, um, you know, you, you get on the gas and it just, it's so ready to go and it just wants to go constantly and it makes so much torque. It's not very forgiving in that sense. And so it ends up feeling like a leader bike that's on bath salts, dude. That's how this thing feels to me. It just feels like a leader bike that is just absolutely on bath salts. One thing I wanna point out is you guys will notice I'm not using the quick shifter on this thing. That is because the previous owner told me that he actually melted a piston at 200 miles per hour because this quick shifter actually cuts ignition and also uh, fuel whenever it's actuating. So that's kind of different. So yeah, this motorcycle, this, the factory quick shifter, as he told me, and I'm, I'm just using the information the previous owner gave me, 
it cuts fuel and it cuts ignition. So he melted a piston at about 13,000 RPM at 200 miles per hour. So as I mentioned in the reveal, this thing has a fully built motor, new crank, new bottom end, everything. Bigger injectors, intercooler, stage three supercharger gears, a bunch of stuff that I don't even know what it means. Bigger fuel pump, I know what that means, but a lot of stuff that I don't even understand. So yeah. Flicking it over on the side of the tire here, you guys will notice I'm being very judicious. First of all, it's a 300 plus horsepower motorcycle. Uh, I am not gonna just eat this thing. Cause it just, again, our brains can't comprehend the kind of speed that this thing can do. And so when you have something like that, it's actually kind of hard to ride. It's really hard to ride something that can just warp time and space around you because your brain can't keep up. And so there seems to be a max processing power for us normal humans, if we're not GP riders or anything. There's like a max processing power of how much speed and acceleration your brain can take in. And I think this bike is well beyond my limits and I, I just get maxed out. And when I pull up from the bubble from on a, on a big pull, I, I feel like I'm going so much faster because I am. My brain didn't understand how I went from 20 or 30 miles per hour to 130 in, in literally two seconds or whatever it was. Um, a lightning fast motorcycle. Too fast, honestly. It's, it's honestly too fast. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. The thing about it that feels really cool is because it's a 2015 model, this really feels so modern, so planted, so pulled together. It really, I mean, this one in particular feels like a bit of a hodgepodge project bike build, because it is, but it's really exciting to ride because you know that you've got modern technology in your back pocket to save you, you know? It's one of the reasons I wanted to get this motorcycle is because of all the tech that it has. Something like the Turbo Hayabusa, while it is a lot of fun, um, it doesn't have anything to save you and so you really got to be on your a-game and this bike still feels nice to hit corners you know i'm actually shocked at that it definitely is boost size it's about 550 pounds ready to ride but side to side it feels like a pretty traditional sport bike which is really cool um i did not expect this motorcycle to feel like a leader bike i thought it would feel like a hayabusa some big open class super bike like a zx14 but i don't know man cowie's done something really different and really special with this motorcycle and it's a bummer that nobody has followed suit nobody has made another forced induction motorcycle kawasaki's alone on this island right now with the h2 and the zh2 with these supercharged monsters now obviously the one big difference between this h2 and the zh2 is the fact that it has clip-ons and full fairings and is a full tuck motorcycle full aggressive super sport position on this thing this thing seats like a zx10 an r1 something like that you're not really comfortable like you are in a hayabusa this thing is serious business when you're riding it it's all business and you can tell it's designed to do one thing although it can carve up corners and it can you know enjoy itself on the side of the tire honestly guys the only thing this bike wants is to go ridiculously fast in a straight line that's why it was designed that's why it was built and conceived um there's really no other reason other than that um that's why the h2 exists as it does it's literally designed to just mutilate straight line acceleration and to just dust up on everything which is why this thing's kind of viewed as the absolute god tier motorcycle because people often view this bike as the thing that sets the standard you know if you say h2 one letter one number the conversation stops you know nobody i was like hey no don't talk about h2 dude don't bring up h2 nobody wants to hear about h2 because that's uh that's a scary motorcycle is it a scary motorcycle is the question i want to ask and to be quite honest i'll be perfectly honest with you guys it is a little frightening to ride um it makes a ton of power it makes a ton of torque and if you're gonna ride it kind of in a fun sporty kind of twisty road manner yeah it's gonna scare you a little bit especially this built version of it um the zh2 had that a little bit of it too it felt like a bike that wanted to kill you i took that bike on track and it was definitely a motorcycle that was like hey uh, let me just murder you really quick and the h2 has the same feeling but somehow more uh because it's a super sport style motorcycle it's incredibly aggressive incredibly uh you know ready and willing to destroy as it were 
but I am really excited to get this thing on the highway and show you guys the acceleration potential of this machine. So I'm gonna work on getting on the highway. It's a nice open spot, and then uh, I will check base with you guys. All right, guys, so I'm on the expressway here with the H2, and it suffers the same thing as the Hayabusa, where you gotta go fast with it. This bike absolutely hates being below 50 or 60 miles per hour, honestly. And once I'm in the express lane here now, I start to feel it out a little bit. Man, it's so fast. Let's get a quick little pull in third. Hear that supercharger fluttering away. Whoa, this bike's fast. Let's try that again. Wow! Whoa! Well, I better get going here. All right, big pull. Super stable, but man, it wants to pitch the front wheel. It's not lowered like my Hayabusa, so it uh, it still wants to lift that front a little bit. Monstrously fast. That was maybe like 60% throttle. It's really fast. <laughs> like, like shockingly super duper ridiculously fast. As if that was any surprise. I I do think it's faster than my Turbo Hayabusa, guys. Um, Holy crap, this thing's fast. Try to get a little bit more in. Fourth gear feels so good. Just roll into that, feel that power build. Feels great. Wow. Yeah, it's just easing into it. It's, it's actually really hard to use. It's hard to go wide open on it. This is serious business. This is what this bike's for, just cruising on the highway. Fuel pump's acting a little wonky, and something's definitely up with it. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to get it wide open, honestly. That's terrifying. Because <laughs> it just builds and builds and builds with power. It just never, it doesn't let up. constantly. Damn, dude. What a beast. <laughs> and I own it. <laughs> oh, why did I buy this? <laughs> Was it the Turbo Busa enough? Oh, God. We're going to get in trouble with this one, folks. No doubt about it. All right, full tilt. We're going to give it a shot. wasn't even wide open. What the f <laughs> What the f is this bike, dude? And the fuel pump's cranking on me. Let's get it down to third. God damn! Jeez. No, dude, this bike is demonic. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, dude. That's a whole nother level. That's a whole, that, no, no, that's a whole other level. It just, it basically just did what my Turbo Hayabusa does at like 70% throttle. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know what would touch this thing. <laughs> What would touch this motorcycle, bro? Holy crap. Oh, my heart rate's up. <laughs> it's vicious. It's demonically fast. Absolutely demonically fast, dude. Just making sure I was recording and I got that. Holy. Woo. I will say it's pulling to the right a little bit. I don't know why. I don't know why when I tuck in, it's not wanting to go straight. Bars are a little uneven. Maybe 
that's it. Because I feel like if my, my hands are perfectly aligned, I'm not going straight. So it might just be the bars are a little a little out of sync. Yeah. The Turbo Hayabusa is much more raw and powerful from like a torque perspective. But dude, this is something else, man. This thing's just, it's on another planet. This bike's straight up on another planet, bro. <laughs> Man, I hope y'all can hear that supercharger. It's just fluttering away constantly, and then there's no way you're not hearing that that blow-off valve, that wastegate. Sheesh. That's outrageous, dude. Addictive, though. Definitely addictive. even redlined the thing and I definitely have not hit the pin on the throttle there I have not maxed out the throttle yet guys that's how crazy this is I can't I don't know I can't my brain cannot compute what's going on <laughs> why did I buy this <laughs> well because I can I guess and wouldn't you wouldn't you if you're in my position wouldn't you buy an H2 you saw it come up for sale I know you would don't lie to me <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, what else can I tell you about this thing? I want to sign off telling you a little bit more. So the Rider Triangle is pretty compact. The ergonomics are, are pretty rough. It's like any kind of leader bike, basically. Um, drop it down to third here, keep the revs up a little bit. I mean, the defining thing about this is the torque it makes and how, how freaking snatchy and go, go, go it is. Like, all it wants to do is rip your arms off. It's, it's literally a demonic motorcycle. I've never ridden anything like this. It's refined and modern and powerful, and yet it still has that old school, like, I'm going to freaking rip your head off vibe. It's so nasty. I love it. <laughs> I do love it. This is great. And I kind of like that the previous owner took off the quick shifter because uh, I don't know, it just makes it a little more, a little more analog, a little more vicious when you got to grab those gears yourself. Um, I might put the quick shifter back on it, but I don't want to melt another piston. So that's that's the kind of the catch twenty two about that. I definitely want to take it back to the builder and see about this fuel pump because it's really bucking quite a bit. On off throttle is a little crazy with this thing. Sometimes when you're off the gas and you're back on, it kind of goes. Uh, 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 uh. I mean, you guys saw that earlier in the vlog. It's something I definitely want to address. I think it needs to be addressed. So. I might take it to the builder. Um, I'm definitely going to have to try doing a mile event with this thing, guys. I think uh, I think you all want to see it. And you guys let me know what other content you want to see with the H2 because it's my motorcycle. It's not going anywhere. I bought it. The title's in my name. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's here to stay, which is really cool. It is now the absolute benchmark of speed. I can't really conceive of any other motorcycle that's as fast as this thing, really. Um, it's absolutely crazy what this bike can do. So guys, with all that being said, I'm going to sign off here. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to check out our Cyber Monday and Black Friday promotions. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Well, look at you. You've made it to the end of another Yammy Noob video. You should consider yourself pretty lucky because I have curated this one right over here for you to continue watching. It's probably just as good as the one you just saw. Unless you hated the one you just saw. I don't know, maybe leave me a comment down below about how you much you hated it as well too. Or just keep watching this one. Make sure you keep watching Yammy Noob. Don't forget to keep watching Yammy Noob. That's the most important thing. Keep watching Yammy Noob.